Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this video, we'll talk about another gymnosport and that is Cycus. Cycus normally they grow in warmer climatic conditions whereas when we were talking about pinus we said pine or pinus trees they grow in colder regions the stem is normally unbranched and it is termed as the cortex when we talk about morphology we talk about various types of stems so here the stem is unbranched and all the leaves they are at the tip in the form of a crown this is the most common thing that we see rarely branching is also seen in uh, psychedelics the leaves they are again mainly of two types that is the foliage leaves which are green performing photosynthesis these are green leaves and they perform photosynthesis so here the leaves which we talk of, which we see normally, they are these green leaves. And they are compound. That means they are pinnately compound. So we see many small structures. The other leaves, they are scaly leaves. And scaly leaves are hard brown structures which normally cover the main uh, stem. So there are two types of leaves. Now when it comes to reproduction, in case of cycus, we find that there are two separate plants. One plant is going to have only male sex gamete or male gamete producing structures and the other one will have only female gamete producing. That means there is going to be a male cycus tree and a female cycus tree. That means they are dioecious, male and female trees are separate. So the male cycus tree is going to have the male gamete producing structures which are in the form of cones. So there would be male cones. Whereas the female tree would produce the female gametes but the gametes are produced on the sporophylls which are called megasporophylls but they are not arranged in the form of cone. Here the microsporophylls they are arranged in the form of cone or strobilus as we have seen in case of pinus also here on the female tree the mega sporophylls have the female gamete producing structure that is ovule and everything but these are not arranged in the form of a compact structure which is known as the cone or strobilus. So here we would say that there is no cone which is formed in case of the female structure. So male cones are there on the male trees. On the female tree there are megasporophylls which would have ovule in which the egg would be produced. But these megasporophylls are not arranged in the form of a cone. So this is another very important difference. One is Cycus grows in warmer region and it is dioecious. When we compare it with pinus, then pinus grows in colder region and pinus was monoecious. Now when we talk of cycus, we have to take three more important things. Number one is in cycus, we find the largest male gamete. In case of cycus only, we find largest female gamete and here, all, oh, here only we find the largest ovule. So this is the largest in the plant kingdom. So cycus has largest all these structures in the plant kingdom. So in plant kingdom, largest male gamete, largest female gamete, largest ovule all they belong to cycus now we will also compare few more things with pinus 
In case of cycles, and we will write pinus also here, wood of gymnosperms in general, when we are talking of gymnosperms, the wood of gymnosperms, when we compare it with the wood of angiosperms, this wood is known as soft wood. And the reason we call it soft wood is presence of tracheids. Tracheids are lignified cells but they have wide lumen. We compare this when we talk of anatomy, wood of uh, um, gymnosperms and angiosperm as soft wood and hard wood. In angiospermic wood, vessels are present and these vessels, they have narrower lumen. So when we see gymnospermic wood, because of the wider lumen of tracheid, it appears as if there are holes or perforations. And that is why it appears as soft. So the wood is soft. But in case of sinus, uh, cycus and pinus, we say the cycus wood is manoxylic and pinus wood is pycnoxylic. Now what does this mean? In cycus, the wood has few tracheids and plenty of parenchyma. Parenchyma means that cortex. So cortex is in plenty and in cortex starch is stored. And because of this stored material, the wood is not durable because if there is some organic material which is in the form of reserved food, it is a good source of food for organisms like fungus or bacteria. So there are chances of infection. So this wood is not durable. And because of this parenchyma uh, in plenty and less of tracheids, it is not compact also. So it is not a compact wood. It is not that durable. That is because of the starch which is present inside and it has more of parenchyma and less of tracheids. And when we compare it with pycnoxylic wood, it is just reverse. It has mostly or plenty of tracheids and very few cortex or cortical cells. That means parenchyma cells are very, very less. And because parenchyma is less, there is no reserve material, no reserve food. And as this organic matter which can be easily attacked is not there, this is durable wood, very durable. And that is why pine wood is used for construction work because this is durable as compared to the cycus wood. And the terms which are given to such kind of words are manoxylic and pycnoxylic wood. So this is another anatomical difference which we talk of. In case of some cycus varieties, we find that the starch which is stored is extracted and is used as sago. So there is a palm which is called sago palm from where we normally obtain this edible sago but from cycus also the sago can be extracted and this is edible because ultimately it is starch. So when we compare cycus and pinus we find many differences but because they are all gymnosperms there are many things which are in common that is they are non-flowering seed producing plants this is one common thing. The seeds are naked, not covered with any fruit or anything. Ovule is going to be orthotropous and unitechnic. These are all gymnospermic characters. Then there is one more character which we see in, in case of gymnosperms. That is the endosperm which is produced. This is again a gymnospermic character. The endosperm is haploid. In case of angiosperms, because double fertilization takes place, the endosperm is triploid and it is formed after fertilization. In case of gymnosperm, endosperm is haploid and is formed 
before fertilization. So this is how gymnosperms differ from angiosperms also. So we have discussed pinus complete life cycle in detail and this is cycus and also how we compare cycus and pinus on these parameters that is mainly the wood. So this completes our gymnosperm group. Now the last group which we have to talk about in plant kingdom is angiosperms that we will take up in the next video.